FibroScan is recognized worldwide as the reference for non-invasive liver diagnosis. It is the unique device based on VCTE for liver stiffness assessment and CAP for steatosis quantification. A new feature is now available on the FibroScan 630 Expert to measure the spleen stiffness as an aid for management of patients with advanced stages of liver disease. No specific experience in ultrasound is required. Here is Mr. Mitchell, who has a spleen stiffness examination today with Mrs. Shannon. The examination will be performed on the left side of Mr. Mitchell, who should lie on his back with the left arm behind his head in maximal abduction. It is recommended to partially rotate Mr. Mitchell to better access the spleen. A wedge cushion can be placed under him for better support. As Mrs. Shannon, you shall sit on a height-adjusted seat. The fiber scan should be placed near the middle of the examination bed. Select spleen mode on the interface, then start the examination. Use anatomical landmarks to find the spleen. Localize the xiphoid appendix just below the sternum and then draw a line to reach the posterior axillary line. As it is the case for liver examinations, make sure to avoid any contact with the rib cage since this would cause unreliable measurements. When the spleen is difficult to locate, take the guidance probe and press the corresponding button. This is the head of the probe. This should point towards the patient's head. Place the probe on the patient's left abdominal side. Rotate the probe to get a good image of the spleen. This is how the spleen should look like. It is always anterior to the left kidney. Once the spleen is found, mark that point with a pen or with your finger and swap the probe with the FibroScan M probe. To adjust probe position, review the real-time ultrasound signals, also known as TM mode, displayed on the left side of the acquisition screen. As it is for a liver examination, the ultrasound TM mode on the left must be uniformly layered, and the decrease of the A mode on the right must remain linear which together corresponds to the typical acoustic signals for the spleen. Any measurement taken in a non-spleen area will be automatically invalidated by the FibroScan algorithm. As it is for liver stiffness measurements, the probe shall remain perpendicular to the patient's skin. The force indicator also needs to be in the green level to be able to trigger measurements. Once the spleen has been properly located, the operator shall trigger at least 10 valid measurements at the same position. For each individual measurement, the quality of the shear wave propagation must be checked on the associated elastogram. Results displayed is the median of all valid measurements, which also known as IQR. We hope you enjoyed following this tutorial. Please also take a look at our other tutorials to improve your fiber scan practice.